So here we are, we are Clipsal 500, 2016. We are, we're on Sunday afternoon, we've just had a hell of a weekend. Probably the busiest I've ever been on track, ever. Well, I've tracked six or seven times a day over the four days. So I've been drifting my brand new Camaro with Ken and his Mustang, jumping on the Harley doing stunt show at the same time, trying to concentrate on race in the stadium super truck. To be honest, I've had a bit of a fizzer of a weekend on the stadium truck. I just couldn't get it right. I had wrong shocks to start with. You know, I had stuff up on my own accord and had a big barrel roll. All in all, uh, massive crowds here. Fan base is just growing all the time. So thanks to everyone that comes out and supports me and gets a shirt and sign poster and all the gear. Yeah, it's magic. Thank you. It's pretty cool that uh, that we can have competition like this in two different uh, continents, and uh, and the fans still like it. Matty Mingo, the clown. Yes. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I call him a clown. I call him an athlete. Go both ways. Obviously, he's in the entertainment business, and um, but he's but he's far from a clown. The guy is very talented and. Um, has an unbelievable amount of car control. It's unfortunate that um, that he had a bad bad day on Saturday with the SSTs, and I think that probably uh, probably spooked him and got him a little, um, you know, uh, trying too hard for Sunday. And that's uh, it happens. I mean, it happens to all of us. But um, but he's a talented individual. He's got unbelievable amount of balance. best car I've ever owned now. It's my favourite. Every time I hop in it, not only does it scare me, but it gives a grin from ear to ear. I'm bailing around this last turn at Clipsal. Flat knack in fifth gear, doing about 170 k's an hour, looking through the passenger window. Passengers are absolutely crapping themselves. And um, at the same time, we're getting, a, we're getting a, every lap, I'm doing one set of tyres. So the nittos are just burning up and blazing away. Uh, I love the thing. So, so good. Mate, absolutely insane. Best thing I've ever done. He's unbelievable. This guy's got fucking talent. It's unreal. It's unreal. Thanks very much.
So, um, you know, he will make all the news reels again. But, um, you know, last time at Surfers, he did it because he won. And this weekend, um, you know, he just uh, he just had the tires preloaded a little bit. And, you know, it's it's what happens. I mean, these cars are very hard to drive on purpose. Uh, one thing I wanted is a competitive series that put on a, a spectacle as well, but also made it very difficult for the drivers to drive and turn it, turn it back into the hands of the drivers instead of into the hands of the engineers and the technicians on tuning the car all the way. You gotta be able to drift the thing left and right and, and obviously fly it over the jumps. Massive shout to Robbie Gordon and the whole Stadium Super Trucks crew. And they bring out 12 of these trucks for us to jump in and flog the hell out of. And, um, and not one driver out there doesn't give it a hard time. I don't think there's a, I think the only person with a straight truck is Robbie Gordon himself. Awesome series, awesome to be involved with it and to fly the Hot Wheels Castro Edge flag high and high and proud. It's, uh, it's definitely an opportunity that I've grabbed and thoroughly enjoying. So hopefully I'll keep doing it for some time to come. I tell you what, this guy is so tough. Matt Mingay, he has done so much in the world of stunt work over the years to give it this. Off that curb, or all oh, the big lock up from Toby Price, almost through Matt Mingay, and then onto his side. Bert Jenner, lucky not to run straight into that rhythm of the tyre. Great news is Matt Mingay. Come on, put your hands together for Matt Mingay! Wow, he's out of the car. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> when it landed. <laughs> 